right folks, it's Philip, this Toon Tactics TV and this is our pre-match preview, Newcastle vs Chelsea, the billionaire battle at the bridge. As always, a quick word on the housekeeping. Guys, the last video did incredibly amazing. We've got great views, great comments, shares. People have been subscribing. So folks, keep on going. Let's keep this channel growing and let's get on with the show. Alright, so let's kick things off with the importance of the match for both teams. Let's start off with Chelsea. Chelsea are under financial pressure to qualify for Europe. This game's important to them. Pochettino is under pressure to keep his job with recent bad form. Their players are under pressure to prove they're actually good enough to play for Chelsea. And finally, and surprisingly, Todd Bowley, Chelsea's owner, co-owner, is under pressure in keeping his job as chairman of the club, pressure from the fans for his performance. This game has not sold out shows you that the fans are not happy with what's happening at the club. I prefer really not to um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. Although I'll caveat that and say the tickets that are, are up for sale are really expensive. This is an incredible opportunity for Newcastle. A win could take them seventh in the Premier League and this is a great position to be with their next Premier League game being on the 30th of March. A loss and they could be as low as 10th. So momentum is everything and it's all to play for in the final stages of this season's Premier League for Newcastle, especially when we're trying to get into Europe. Hang on in there, boys! In the last five games between Newcastle and Chelsea, all of which have been under Eddie Howe, Newcastle have drawn two, won two, and lost one to Chelsea, and that was the League Cup under, under penalties. So Newcastle have been vastly improved in their games against Chelsea in recent matches. With recent form, Newcastle doing slightly better than Chelsea, with winning three of the last five games, drawing one and losing one to Arsenal, uh, which was a devastating loss. However, they came back strong against Wolves, three goals to nil, and are going into this game with their tails up. Chelsea, they drew the last game 2-2 against Brentford, and there's been a lot of concerns around their form and inability, especially to break down low blocks. To Chelsea, please. It's a game where both teams need the win. I think Newcastle are coming into this game a little bit more confident and a little bit more ready, especially from a mental point of view. I wanna play now, huh? As you guys can see from the injury list, Chelsea are one of the few teams in the league who have a longer injury list than Newcastle. Though in the general scheme of things, Newcastle are far away top of the list when it comes to injuries. The main doubt for me, for Chelsea, is Gallagher, who I think gives them that bite, even though there is tensions in the fan base of, of, over his quality. If he's not playing, I think uh, someone like Willock could could really uh, do damage uh, in, in the midfield battle. But let me know what you guys think. Key areas, I'm gonna start off with the managers. There's a famous quote that says that leadership is influence. And in the case of Pochettino, he's been trying to form the identity of Chelsea in this season. And he has been accused by Chelsea fans of experimenting too much. Newcastle's recent game against Wolves, where we, play, we played a counter-attacking style, which is different to our usual high press. Would this make Pochettino again overthink about how he approaches this game? In contrast, Eddie Howe's Newcastle, our motto is intensity is our identity. And this has been forged through trials like fight and relegation and tribulations like this year's injury uh, crisis. And we've come through it. So we know who we are. And I think that gives us the edge in this game. But let me know what you guys think. Another key area I think is the fans. With reports that are way at Brentford, the away Chelsea fans are beginning to show their discontent towards Pochettino for the performance. I'm wondering in this game against Newcastle whether if Chelsea go, go behind or the performance is flat, would they show the discontent again? And would this seep into the, into the players? This could be a, an advantage to Newcastle. But Chelsea fans, let me know what you guys think. What is reports overblown? And no matter what happens in this game, you guys are gonna back your team. Let us know 
um, Newcastle fans will know how away end is so we're looking forward to this game regardless right in the final part of the key areas the players themselves Cole Palmer the creative one for Chelsea can he get into those pockets and cause damage Casado can he be the enforcer for Chelsea and hold off Willock and, and Bruno and Thiago Silva can he show the leadership which has been in question recently for Chelsea? And can he do well in the set pieces for and against Chelsea? Because that's going to really test them. For Newcastle, you already know. Bruno Gomez, our dictator, our man in the middle. If you can't stop him, it's going to be a real problem for Chelsea. Willock, his athleticism is going to test Chelsea's midfield and your backline. And Isak, one shot, one kill. Isak Alexander is our difference maker. And he's the only real difference maker in this game. And that's why I'm more positive about the result. If you guys want to know what any result is, stick around for the final predictions. Guys, well done for reaching the end of the show. We talked about the managers. We talked about the fans. We talked about the players, the mental edge, the importance of this game to the teams. Now comes the prediction. Guys, it's gonna be a tight game, but a back Newcastle to win this game 2-1. Like I mentioned earlier, I think we've got the slightly better form going into this game. We're in a, a slightly better mental headspace, and we've got the only real um, difference maker. I know Cole Palmer's there, but I think in Isak, we've got the real dis difference maker in this game, and I back us to win 2-1. How I can take you know, his opinion, but I respect his opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Share your opinions. Let us know, are there things that we haven't considered going into this game? And until next time, folks, take care and God bless.